let's now look at the distributive law of matrices. Now, what does the distributive law of matrices say? The distributive law of matrices say that for any three matrices, okay, which are defined, what do you mean by defined? Defined means that they are capable of multiplication. A into B plus C is equal to A B plus B C. So A B plus A C just like you do those XY algebra calculations. Okay, now let's try and prove this. So I'll give some values to these matrices. Just to give you a breather, this time I'm not going to keep them as exhaustive as the associative ones. Okay, B equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. And let C be equal to 1, 2, 5, okay, 3, 4, 6, 1, 2, 5, right? On the left hand side, we've got A into B plus C. So what is A? A is 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, 5 into B plus C. Now let's start doing the sum of these. So this is 3 by 3. This is also 3 by 3. Hence, addition is possible. So let's straight away find out what is the value of B plus C. So we start adding the corresponding 1 plus 1 gives you 2. 2 plus 2 gives you 4. 3 plus 5 gives you 8. Okay. Similarly, 4 plus 3 gives you 7. 5 plus 4 gives you 9. 6 plus 6 gives you 12. Again, 1 plus 1 gives you 2, 2 plus 2 gives you 4, and 5 plus 3 gives you 8. Right? So this is of the order 2 by 3, this is 3 by 2, 3 by 3. Hence, the number of columns here are equal to number of rows here, hence the multiplication is possible. Right? So let's multiply them right away. So the resulting matrix has to be 2 rows and 3 columns right? So let's see now. You've got first row into first column, right? So 2 into 2, 4 plus 1 into 4, 4 plus 4 into 8, 32, 40. 2 into 7, plus 1 into 9, plus 4 into 12, 71, okay, 2 into 2, plus 1 into 4, plus 8 into 4, right? Then we use the second row, first column, 3 into 2, 2 into 4, 5 into 8, 54, right, 2 into 7, sorry, 3 into 7, 2 into 9, 5 into 12, 99, 3 times 2, 2 times 4, 5 times 8. If you put these cursors as you are, you know, calculating this, the chances of error are reduced. So this will become 40, 71, 40, 54, 99 and 54. So the left side we've calculated as this. Let's call this as 1. Now let's see what is AB into AB plus BC. So first calculate AB. A is what? 2 into 3. B is 3 into 3. So we'll get 2 rows, 3 columns. 
in AB. Similarly, we'll get three rows and three columns in BC. So two ones are two. One times two is two. Four times three is twelve. So you get sixteen here. Similarly, two times four is eight. One times five is five. Four times six is twenty-four. So if you do the sum, you get thirty-seven over here. Again, this third row is same to this, so you will again get sixteen over here. Why? I mean, this row, this column, and this column are same. So if you multiply them with this, the sum is going to be the same, which is sixteen. So this will be two plus two plus twelve, which is sixteen. Now second row, first column. So three times one, three. Two times two, four. Plus five times three, fifteen. Twenty-two is what you get here. Three times four gives you twelve. Two times five gives you ten. Five times six gives you thirty. Fifty-two, sorry, not forty-two. Okay, and this is going to be twenty-two, same as here, right? Actually, there's a slight bit of an error here. This should be A C. Okay. Now, when you calculate A C over here, because this was A into C, it should have been A C. Right. Now, when you calculate A C over here, you multiply A with C. So two one four. So this is two by three. This is three by three. So the resulting matrix will be two by three. Two into one gives you two plus one into two gives you two. Four into five gives you twenty. So this will be twenty-four. Again, two times three gives you six plus one times four gives you four plus six times four gives you twenty-four. So this will be thirty-four. Again, because this column and this column are same, so the product of this into this is going to be this into this. So twenty-four remains twenty-four over here, right? So this is going to be twenty-four. We are not doing the calculation again. Now three to five into one to five. Three into one is three plus two into two is four plus five into five is twenty-five. Thirty-two. As you do the sum of these two, three. And this is also again going to be thirty-two. Why? Because these two columns are same, right? Let's see this one. Three into three is nine. Two into four is eight. Six into five is equal to thirty. Forty-seven. Right? Now let's do the sum of these two. We will get forty. Twenty-two plus thirty-two will give you fifty-four, right? Thirty-seven plus thirty-four gives you seventy-one. Fifty-two plus forty-seven gives you ninety-nine. Sixteen plus twenty-four gives you forty. Twenty-two plus this gives you fifty-four. Let's call this as equation two. Now, if you compare one and two, you have forty, seventy-one, forty, forty, seventy-one, forty, fifty-four, ninety-nine, fifty-four, fifty-four, ninety-nine, fifty-four. So both of them are equal, right? Hence, we conclude that A into B plus C is equal to AB plus AC. This is a little bit of an error out here. So this was AC. Initially, we had unfortunately written it back as BC. Right? 